simple interest is an extremely popular topic if you have done any business math at all maybe not even business math it is definitely worth knowing and understanding what simple interest is so here i'm just going to talk about an introduction to simple interest and as you can see so right here here is your simple interest formula and i'll try to explain what all of these things mean to you and then give you a small little example and if you will be interested you are going to be able to watch some of the other videos which are related to this one which is just simply an introduction so starting off before you look at the formula and start thinking about you know what happens to money over time and one of the things is that whenever we start with a certain amount of money which we typically call the principal that would be our starting point and this is a dollar value and if you are investing this particular dollar value you probably would expect that you might get something in return for it and hopefully that's going to be a good interest now not all investments are guaranteed but for the time being in this video we will study just the guaranteed kind of investments that provide you with some money so this particular principle that you have so let's say you see on the left hand side there I, I drew this little bar and imagine that this bar is your principle so this is your starting point now if you're investing then you're hoping to get some money in return for this so that money is going to do some work for you and then over time you're going to get a little bit back or maybe possibly more back depending on how long you're investing so here what I'm going to do is on top of this principle our hope and of course this may vary because it will depend on your interest so the hope is that we're going to grow our money and we're going to obtain some interest on top of that so this I that you see right here so this one that is considered okay the amount of money that we obtain as interest so this is a dollar value that we have on top of our principal so it has grown so starting at first from just simply some starting point then it has grown a little bit and now we have a touch more now if you are borrowing money then of course you're going to have to pay this interest back and you're going to also have to pay back the principal that you had borrowed and this is common with for example mortgages or maybe car loans of some kind now there is always some associated rate of interest that you work with and that typically at least if you were maybe in school or somewhere else so that will be given to you so you have a rate of interest that your money is going to grow now one thing that you should be aware of that in simple interest the rate of interest is always given on an annual basis it means per the entire year so this is per annum as they call it and that just simply means per year and that is your rate so our rate we use the letter R to designate it and when we substitute it back into our formula okay that particular rate is actually always changed back into a decimal format or possibly a fraction so it's not kept as a percent and so that would be this right here so we have our principal our starting point we have our rate which is the interest and now of course okay it is dependent on how long of time okay this principal is making money for you or possibly how long you have borrowed it for so the last item that we have here that is time so here this is time Okay, and it is the length that we have and what's key about this time okay it is always converted to an annual basis so it is converted to 
annual basis, which just simply means per year. Okay, so this just simply means per year. And I do a video on how to do the various calculations with respect to calculating and finding time. For example, if you're given it in days or if you're given it in months or weeks, okay, whatever that may be. So I'm not going to talk about it here. Here, just want to be able to describe just the basics. So again, your simple interest formula is just P times R times T, which is principal, times the rate as a decimal times t, which has to be in years. So those are the things that you have to remember. All right, so rate, okay, keep in mind, has to be as a decimal or as a fraction, and your t has to be converted, okay, on an annual basis, okay? So here's a small little example, okay, that we have. So if you would take, for instance, okay, so let's say, we started off with $10,000, and that $10,000, okay, so this would be our principal, so this is our principal P, and now let's say that we invested it at some guaranteed interest. Now, if the interest has been guaranteed, and let's say it was, for instance, at 5%, so this would be your rate R, but remember what we said above, that your rate you have to change back into a decimal or a fraction. So we're going to divide by 100, we're going to get 0 0.05, and that is our rate. And let's imagine that we had invested this, okay, for, okay, let's say two and a half years. So we invested this for two and a half years, and after that time, Okay, we would take it out. So notice it is in years already. Okay, so that would be our T, which is exactly what we wanted. So this would tell us that what we have is that our interest, I, is equal to our principal, which is $10,000, multiplied by the rate as a decimal, which is 5% or 0 0.05, and that has been done for two and a half years. So this calculation, as we can plug it back in, okay, into our calculator here. So that would be 10,000 multiplied by 0 0.05 and times 2.5. And our interest would be $1,250. So coming back here, okay, so what that means, so this, Okay, if you, if I'm going to just copy it down, I'm going to bring it right here, just so that you can have an idea of what this is. So here we started off with $10,000. So that was our principal right here. Okay, and then our interest, okay, so which we calculated just above. Okay, so our interest came out to 1250 So in total, what we have is now we have a new total, so after two and a half years, and that would be 11,250, where a portion of that was an interest. So that's all that I wanted to say in this introductory video to the simple interest. You can watch some of the other videos, which are going to be actually finding time because it's not always easily given in years, okay, and some of the other ones like equivalent values and some other topics. All right, I hope you found this introduction useful. 